Hey everyone, Tom here. Just got back from flying a bit, the Phantom 3 Professional, as we do so frequently. I'm sure if you follow any of our stuff, you've uh, seen a lot of our aerial footage. We do quite a bit of it. It was just starting to put some stuff on the computer and I remembered that DJI just announced that they came out with a Phantom 4 or are about to come out with a Phantom 4. I'm not sure exactly when it's coming out, but I'm pretty excited about that. I just wanted to kind of pull up the specs a bit and talk a little bit about would I buy this new Phantom Craft? Uh, the Phantom 3 has been absolutely amazing for us. It's allowed us to go further distances and capture things that we just never would have been able to capture before. The Phantom 4 looks like it's going to be able to do even more. Uh, I pulled up the specs on it a bit and kind of looked at it and uh, it does offer some things that I really kind of would have liked in the Phantom 3. It can go faster, about 15 miles per hour faster. Not a drastic difference, but it is pretty nice when you're trying to get there to get the shot it's nice to be able to go a little faster sometimes you want to keep up with the subject uh it'll go about 40 almost 45 miles per hour the phantom 3 tops out around 30 depending on wind conditions it can accelerate faster up and down it has a slightly longer flight time uh, we're looking at 28 minutes versus the phantom 3 which i can reliably get 20 minutes before i'm kind of concerned about battery the phantom 4 also offers some awesome obstacle avoidance features it has two additional cameras that can look at the terrain and basically determine if it's going to hit something and avoid it uh, it looks like a really cool craft it's just it's pretty too i mean look at look at this thing it, it's it's cool you know but it's just bulky they strapped this thing on here and the, the camera and gimbals a separate piece and whatnot and and that's how most drones have been for a long time i mean i used to build them before you could buy them and it was just a conglomerate of parts and pieces and they were really ugly the phantom 4 is a composite one piece really pretty really nice looking craft so i'll definitely give it that it's actually a little bit heavier but supposedly the body's lighter so it's more battery i mean these things are basically flying batteries i mean you, you know the phantom 3 battery it's it's a good chunk of the aircraft weight the phantom 4 even more so which allows it to have a longer flight time so they've also increased the uh the motor capacity it's a, basically a completely different craft what i really like is they've added redundant IMU and compass so that if one of the computers fails it's got basically two onboard computers and this is how jet airliners are I mean you don't fly an airplane these days with one computer so that's really an awesome feature as well they've also raised the propellers up a little bit so you have uh, less potential to get the props in the shot when you're leaning forward and screaming really fast so that's really, really neat as well. Overall, it looks like a really cool craft. They've also increased the range a little bit. I don't know if it's actually different or if maybe they've just done some better insulation on the wires and such in the controller. I know that's been a problem with the Phantom 3 uh, is just the coax inside the controller has not been great. So you haven't been able to get that extreme range out of it. The Phantom 4, they've fixed that. They say that you can go three miles on it reliably. Would I buy a Phantom 4? That's a big question that I'm deciding on right now. At this point, I'm probably going to say no. The camera on it is not much different. Yes, they've improved the gimbal. It's, it's a much more stable gimbal and such, but the camera is essentially the same as far as I can tell. They haven't really come out with 100% details on what it is, but it looks like the sensor is almost identical in both the Phantom 3 and the Phantom 4. That's the biggest thing for me is, is, is being able to get that shot. I, I think that the Phantom 4 has a different lens structure in it, so it probably has a little bit different look to it with lens flares and such. The Phantom 3 kind of has a very uh, wide field of view uh, lens flare as, it, as the, the sun hits it. It's not bad, but it's, it's not real cinematic, so maybe they've changed that a little bit. At this point, I'm probably going to say that I'm not going to purchase the Phantom 4. It has a lot of features that allow for autonomous flight and uh, subject tracking and uh, obstacle avoidance, really nice features. But since I do most of my flying manually anyway, I'd probably do that with the Phantom 4. So I would benefit from the Advan the faster speeds and controllability, but um, the autonomous flight functionality, since I do, don't do very much of that, it's probably not that beneficial to me. I don't know. We'll see where things go. But at this point, I'm going to say that I'm probably not going to go for the Phantom 4 yet. Uh, maybe going to wait and see kind of what people say about it. But it looks like an awesome craft, and I'm really excited to see what people can do with it uh, when they when they get it. All right, well, those are my thoughts on the Phantom 4. I'm Tom. We're the Mortons on the Move, 
and go out and keep exploring your world.